We are asked to compare the numbers using the less than or greater than inequality symbol. We will make the comparison two ways. For the first method, we will plot the numbers on the number line and determine which value is on the left and which value is on the right. The value on the left is always less than the value on the right, and the value on the right is always greater than the value on the left. For the second method, we will obtain a common denominator. For part A, we're asked to compare negative two-thirds and negative one. Negative two-thirds is two-thirds of a unit to the left of zero and falls between zero and negative one. To plot this fraction accurately, we will cut the length from zero to negative one into three equal parts, where each part has a length of one-third of a unit. Starting at zero, we have negative one-third and then negative two-thirds. And of course, negative one is one unit to the left of zero, which is located here. Because negative two-thirds is first, and negative two-thirds is to the right of negative one, we say negative two-thirds is greater than negative one. And now let's make the comparison by obtaining a common denominator. We have negative two-thirds compared to negative one. Let's write negative one as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now we will obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which in this case is three. We need to write negative one over one as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of three, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator by three. This gives us negative two-thirds compared to negative three-thirds. Once we have a common denominator, we can compare the fractions by simply comparing the numerators as long as we place the negative sign in the numerator, which means to compare these two fractions, we only have to compare negative two and negative three. And because negative two is greater than negative three, this tells us negative two-thirds is greater than negative one. For the second example, we want to compare negative two and negative one and three-fourths. Negative two is two units to the left of zero, located here. Negative one and three-fourths is located one and three-fourths units to the left of zero, which is located between negative one and negative two. To plot this mixed number accurately, we will cut the length from negative one to negative two into four equal sized parts. Each part has a length of one fourth of a unit. So we have zero, negative one, negative one and one fourth, negative one and two fourths, and negative one and three fourths. Because negative two is listed first, and negative two is to the left of negative one and three fourths, negative two is less than negative one and three fourths. And now let's make the comparison by obtaining a common denominator. We will write negative two as a fraction with a denominator of one, and we'll also convert negative one and three fourths to an improper fraction. The improper fraction is going to be negative, the denominator remains four, and the numerator is going to be four times one plus three, which is seven. Negative one and three fourths equals negative seven fourths. The least common denominator is four, which means we need to write negative two over one as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of four. We multiply the numerator and denominator by four. This gives us negative eight fourths compared to negative seven fourths. Now that we have a common denominator, we can compare the fractions by simply comparing the numerators, because negative eight is less than negative seven, we know negative two is less than negative one and three fourths. Let's look at the last two examples on the next slide. For C, we want to compare negative three fifths and negative four fifths, which are both located between zero and negative one, and because both denominators are five, we will cut the length from zero to negative one into five equal sized parts. where each small length has a length of one-fifth of a unit. Negative three-fifths is three-fifths of a unit to the left of zero. Starting at zero, we have negative one-fifth, negative two-fifths, negative three-fifths is located here. And one more fifth of a unit left gives us negative four-fifths. 
because we are starting with negative three-fifths, and negative three-fifths is to the right of negative four-fifths. Negative three-fifths is greater than negative four-fifths. Notice how we already have a common denominator, so to compare negative three-fifths and negative four-fifths, with the negative sign in the numerator, we can compare the fractions by simply comparing the numerators, again, because we have a common denominator. Negative three is greater than negative four, which tells us negative three-fifths is greater than negative four-fifths. And for the last example, we want to compare negative four and negative 11 thirds. Negative four is four units to the left of zero, located here. To plot negative 11 thirds on the number line, let's write negative 11 thirds as a mixed number. We know it's going to be a negative mixed number, and now to find the mixed number, we will divide 11 by three. There are three threes in 11. Three times three is nine. We subtract the difference is two, which means the quotient is three and two thirds, giving a mixed number of negative three and two thirds for negative 11 thirds. Remember, this fraction here is formed by writing the remainder over the divisor. Negative three and two thirds is three and two thirds units to the left of zero, which falls between negative three and negative four. Because the denominator is three, we will cut the length from negative three to negative four into three equal sized parts. Each of these small lengths has a length of one third of a unit. So we have zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative three and one third, negative three and two thirds. We start with negative four here, and negative four is to the left of negative three and two thirds, which means negative four is less than negative three and two thirds. Let's also make the comparison by obtaining a common denominator. We will write negative four as a fraction with a denominator of one, and then we'll leave negative 11 thirds as an improper fraction, and obtain a common denominator, which is three. If we multiply the numerator and denominator of negative four over one by three. This gives us the comparison of negative 12 thirds to negative 11 thirds. Again, because we have a common denominator, we can make the comparison by simply comparing the numerators. Again, as long as the negative sign is in the numerator. And because negative 12 is less than negative 11, we know negative four is less than negative 11 thirds. I hope you found this helpful.